How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video we're going to be talking about how to create 360 videos for YouTube with a paid plugin called Skybox by Metal. So yes, this is a paid solution, a paid plugin. If you want a free solution or you don't want to pay, this is not the video for you. Um, I'm also aiming this video towards kind of like developers, game developers, anyone developing stuff for VR where you want to create some kind of 360 promo video. But overall, the plugin is very affordable, it's very robust, and it's really cool. Definitely check it out. It also has more uses than just creating 360 videos for YouTube. But again, in this video, we'll be focusing on 360 videos for YouTube, specifically in After Effects. And also, we won't be talking about how to create 360 videos from actual footage from cameras. We're going to be talking about motion graphics stuff, titles, and stuff like that within the 3D environment of After Effects. In another tutorial, we'll talk about how to create and you know extract 360 information from 360 footage shot on a camera rig, 360 camera rig as well as the in-depth features of Skybox. But this is just going to be talking about kind of a quick rundown how to create 360 uh, motion graphics within After Effects here. So if you don't know what 360 video is, I created a test video here where basically it is a 3D environment within YouTube. You can actually look down, you can look up, you can look to the left and right and pretty much observe everything around here. This is what a 360 video looks like. And essentially you can view everything from behind, top, bottom, everything you can think of. and course you can explore this while actually playing the video so if I just hit play you can actually like explore around and stuff like that so this is what a 360 video is on YouTube let's go and talk about how this works using Skybox here so here I have After Effects I have a basic composition and once you install Skybox this is actually a script and plugin solution so the first step is to actually use the script to create kind of the structure of Skybox and there are some things that you need to know when working with Skybox and how to create 360 videos in general. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Script, and then I'm going to go to the Skybox Creator. We'll talk about the Skybox Extractor in another video here. But go to the Skybox Creator. This is what you're going to need in order to create a, I guess, a rig for this. So basically, the Skybox Creator's job is to create the necessary compositions, camera rigs, and all that great stuff in order to kind of essentially create the 360 structure that you need. So basically you have two options. You can either create a new Skybox master or create a Skybox from current composition. So if you know for sure that you're gonna be creating a 360 video, definitely create a new Skybox master. Now, if you've already started working on a composition, then you wanna select the create Skybox from current composition. And that will attempt to convert everything that you have in your current composition into the necessary structures for the 360 video setup here. Now, there's something that you need to know in that when you create a new Skybox master or convert a current composition to a Skybox comp, um, it's going to create a camera rig. And you're going to need to use that camera rig for your camera animation. So ideally, if you already have camera information, you, whether you have already animated the camera and stuff, you're going to need to somehow convert that to the Skybox camera, um, whether it's copying keyframes and stuff like that. Um, but you'll see in a second. So. In this case, I want to go ahead and create a new Skybox master. And you can define the size of the composition. Now, you need to be working with square sizes or resolutions because uh, it's going to convert to a cubic map, which then can convert to any other format. But you need to be working in a kind of a square format. I believe 1024 by 1024 yields really great results. Uh, I believe 4K. Um, select the frame rate. I'm going to select uh, 24. And for the duration, we'll just create a 10 second comp and hit the Create Skybox Master. But before you do that, make sure you select the Use 2-Node Camera as well as Use 3 Null Camera Control. These will allow you to create a custom camera rig that you can actually control in the composition. And also if you're using 3D plugins like Trap Code Form, Particular Mirror, check the I am using 3D plugins. This applies for Element and all those great 3D plugins here. So go ahead and hit Create Skybox Master. And that will create a blank composition with a camera rig right here. And this is very, very important. So I'm just going to paste my mirror data that I created from the original demo into this composition here, just so that we have a quick little setup. I'll move it to the bottom. And as you can see, we have the Skybox camera controller. And this is very important. You need to do all your camera animations using this null controller here, which will control the master camera because this is the camera that Skybox will use to create the 360 rig here. So. I'm going to go ahead and readjust my camera and I'll just add some quick keyframes to the control here. We'll move five seconds in and, you know, we'll just push this up a little bit so that we have some sort of camera animation here. So 
let's say that this is all we want to do. This is our composition. This is our final animation. We're ready. And we want to convert this into a 360 video. Go back to the Skybox Creator script and go ahead and select Create Skybox from the current composition, which is our Skybox Master here. Just select it. And then once we have that selected, make sure that you have the, the use 2D camera node and 3D camera controls checked using 3D plugins. If your edges are kind of looking funny, go ahead and check the use edge blending option here. But by default, I just don't check that and go ahead and hit generate skybox output. And basically what skybox did was it actually went to the original composition here and created a virtual 3D camera rig. So you've seen it in film productions, you've seen the, uh, you know, the six camera rigs, GoPro rigs and stuff like that. Uh, in a ring kind of shooting uh, all at six directions, all 360 degrees to capture all the information. That is what Skybox is doing. It's creating a ring of cameras, these six cameras right here. It's creating a ring of cameras, pointing in all different directions to capture all the information. So if we go ahead and turn on our cameras and go to the custom view one and take a look at our camera rig right here. We have a 360 camera rig. We have six cameras pointing this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, capturing all the information around us. And then it's going to create a composition or actually multiple compositions here. So we have the camera front, we have the right side of the camera, the back side of the camera, the left side of the camera, the top side of the camera. Basically it's capturing all the views in our composition and it's going to stitch them together. So we have our Skybox combined. So basically it takes all the views and maps them out into a cubic kind of projection here. And it takes this cubic map into the final master output, uses a plugin, the Metal Skybox Converter plugin right here, converts the input map, which is our cubic map, to the equal rectangular uh, map. And this is the map that actually Element 3D uses for the, for the environment, the reflections channel and all that stuff. Um, and as you can see, the output frame rate is 4096, basically 4K for output here. So basically it creates a 360 camera rig with an inside After Effects, gets all the views, stitches them together, and then converts the cubic map into the equal rectangular map. And then you can actually export this and upload this to YouTube or use this as an environment map for Element 3D and other reflections and stuff like that. So it's a very, very cool script slash plugin oriented workflow. So let's say I want to make some changes to this master composition here. Maybe I want to tweak the mirror settings. Maybe I want to add some titles, change some adjustments, maybe add some color correction and color grading. So let's say I turn on this color grading layer right here. If I go back to the master output, you can see that nothing's changed. The updates haven't been rolled out. And you know, this makes sense because remember Skybox actually duplicates and creates multiple instances of this master composition here. So. These are basically six different compositions living entirely on their own. They're not linked. They're just separate compositions that have been duplicated. So Skybox makes it easier to update these. Go back to the creator script here. Make sure that you have the use node two cameras, use the null 3D camera controls and use the 3D plugins are checked. If you use that initially, select your master composition and go ahead and hit refresh Skybox output. That's gonna scan your composition once again, update all the camera views with the new changes, the new layers that you've added, all that stuff. And then as you can see, the Skybox output master has been updated with our color correction uh, layer here. Now, you gotta be smart about this. Remember, you don't wanna be rendering six different versions of Mirror um, if you don't have to. Or if we're in this case, for an example, you know, why would you want to process the color correction layer six times? It makes more sense in terms of resources to actually maybe turn this off, you know, refresh the output so that we're not using color correction. And then apply the color correction to the master skybox output composition. So they're doing it once because I've noticed that if you have a lot of instances of the same effects over and over and over again, six times, the render times gets really intensive. So, you know, play smart. Obviously you can't avoid this using mirror. Um, because you need it in all six views, but you know, stuff like color correction where you only need it once, maybe like chromatic aberration, glows, maybe do that and save it for the master composition here so that it's not too, uh, you know, heavy in the rendering with all six different versions of the same effects, you know, for no, for no good reason, really. So that's pretty much how you do that in After Effects. As you can see, if we scrub through the timeline, you can see that it actually animates as well. So it animates 
just as normal right here. It just kind of looks funny because of the projection here. And as you can see, the rendering time is a little bit slow. This composition is like 7,000 pixels wide, um, set to output to 4K. So it's pretty intensive. And before I show you guys how to actually export this thing properly and actually inject the proper metadata so that YouTube can actually convert it into a 360 video, I want to go ahead and thank our quick sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an awesome website, whether it's for your online website, store portfolio. They have awesome, customizable, professionally designed themes ready for you to use for your business. They have awesome customer support, a page builder that will actually let you customize your website the way you want it without having to know any code. It's very flexible, it's very professional, and it's simply easy. You can get started with Squarespace for only $8 a month. Best of all, you can actually use the promo code DOJO at checkout to save 10% off your order and support the show. So check it out, squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an awesome website. For this to work, you need to render it out as an MP4. Um, you know, I would recommend rendering it out as a QuickTime, you know, you know, ProRes or whatever, and then converting it to an MP4 via Media Encoder here. But I'm just gonna go straight to Media Encoder. I'm gonna go to File. I'm gonna go to Export and add it to the Media Encoder queue. So I have my Skybox output composition here. Make sure you're rendering as H.264. This will render it as an MP4 file. This is a requirement for YouTube. Change your output settings, you know, preferably high bit rate, high settings here, um, because the MP4 files is pretty compressed. Go ahead and render it. So once you've rendered your video, you're gonna need additional software called the 360 Video Metadata Tool. It's free by Google for Mac and Windows. And go ahead and open it up. The links will be provided in the description down below. So basically you want to go ahead and open your video. Once you've opened your video and selected your video, um, you're gonna go ahead and check the spherical checkbox here. It's gonna check that your projection is equal rectangular. And make sure you don't check the 3D top bottom. This is more for stereo, I believe, stereo 3D. Um, but go ahead and check the spherical and go ahead and hit save as. And basically it's going to you know, create a duplicate video file of your original video with the proper metadata injected into the video file so that when you upload it to YouTube, YouTube will see the metadata and it'll actually convert it to a 360 video for you. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial, guys. It's a pretty quick one, kind of long, but I wanted to explain kind of what uh, what Skybox does behind the scenes for motion graphics. Again, um, if you want to know how to do this or how to convert, I guess, 360 video shot on cameras like, you know, GoPro rig, check out my video tutorial on that soon to come. But this is how you set up a 3D environment, 3D camera rig with inside After Effects using Skybox Converter. This is a really cool plugin by Metal. Highly recommend it if you are in kind of the VR scene here. So check it out, Skybox by Metal. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.